Hello, fabulous Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of February 2015, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What a lovely month we have in the context of love, especially where it comes to the early part of the month. Now, depending on where you are on the planet, just as January is ending or as February is beginning, Venus will meet Neptune in the sky. This is a very romantic energy. In fact, it's a surge of romantic energy. It is an energy of wanting to be carried away on a fairy tale. Now, here's what's really interesting. This particular configuration is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with um, siblings and cousins, okay, and neighbors as well. So put that together. It does look like either an introduction from a sibling or cousin or an interaction with a neighbor is likely to really light up your imagination and get you believing in um, a type of fantasy again. Now, what I also really like about the same part of the sky is it has to do with communication and messages. And so this can also be a time when messages come through that also ignite your imagination as well. Now, keep in mind, here's the thing with this. Um, Neptune is not necessarily the clearest energy, okay? And that's why it's fantasy. It's part of fantasy. It rules fantasy. When Venus meets Neptune, it can be a time when your mind is very imaginative, yes, and your mind is imaginative in interpreting the messages that are coming your way. And so what I find really interesting about what is taking place is that it is possible um, that you get messages online and uh, they get your imagination going. It may not necessarily be what's intended, okay? Or it might just be a friendly exchange that you start giving a lot of meaning to. But just be mindful of that and allow yourself to enjoy the moment for what the moment promises without being too attached to outcome. I mean, this is Neptune. As I said, there's, there's got to be non-attachment <laughs> because it is so much about the fantasy. And that doesn't mean that the ideal cannot be realized. It just means that take the desire and the dream for what it's worth and enjoy it for what it's worth as well. All of us, as we start the month, will be believing in soulmates, and this will be especially true for you as you are perceiving the world, and especially as you're communicating with others as well. By the time we get a little bit further in the month, right around the 10th, depending on where you are on the planet, we are going to have Venus speaking in harmony with Pluto, Pluto currently in your sign. This, to me, bodes really well for not only getting clarity, but a clarity that you like, the clarity that allows you to change things for the better, to change things in a way that feels like it is allowing you to feel a sense of empowerment and power as well. So those of you who are open to new love, as I said, it's the online communications that are really going to get you, <laughs> get your imagination going. But by the time we get you a little bit further into the month, it looks like you're taking a bit of a more balanced perspective, deciding on your best way forward, and really deciding that you want something meaningful and something that is also, um, that has a rel an element there of being substantial as well. The dream isn't going to cut it. You want the nitty gritty, as will be abundantly clear to you as you progress further into the month. Those of you who are um, in uh, like a dating situation, to me this just suggests uh, enjoying each other's company, getting to know this other person, talking to this other person a lot, and having some romantic words exchanged. So it looks like there's lots of like text texting and different types of messaging taking place, a lot of written words taking place, um, and lots of words that make you go, oh wow, that could mean so many different things, that's so cool. And really getting sort of the, the part of you that wants to delve into a mystery uh, really inspired as well. Those of you that are um, in an established bond, this looks like a time when you're just going to be talking a lot to your partner as well and communicating about things that are, uh, especially once we get you further into the month, there's an element here of really exposing yourself on a very deep level, really wanting to share on a more profound level. Now, if you're just getting to know somebody or just meet somebody or just dating somebody, you want to be mindful of this, right? You don't want to share too much too quickly. As I say from time to time in my videos, um, the guy or the girl that you're on a first date with or a second date with is not your therapist. 
right? Like too much too soon is one of the surest things to scare someone off. And so you don't want to share too much. But at the same time, you want to know that you're safe and that you're in a safe space to share what it is that's really going on with you as well. So find that very, that very nice medium of being honest and yet not um, allowing this to become a deluge, if you will, of your deep, dark secrets um, that then ends up uh, sort of sitting there in the middle of the table that neither of you know what to do with. What I love about this month for you is that there's honesty on offer, honesty with yourself and with the other as well, but there's also transformation on offer, the type of transformation that arises from honesty that allows you to get clear as to what you need to move yourself towards greater love and the strength and the determination to actually take those steps that move you in that direction.